Bacula Enterprise Edition to the rescue. Welcome to the Bacula Enterprise Trial Edition Scenario 1, where we will run a backup with BWeb. We begin at the BWeb homepage for a brand new install of the Trial Edition. From here, we'll click on Jobs and Define Jobs, which will take us to the Job Selection window. From here in the drop-down menu, you'll have a list of every single job defined on this directory. You can see that we used a naming convention here that makes it very clear what is being backed up and the destination all in the job name. This type of naming convention can help avoid future confusion. For this scenario, we will choose Linux All Files to Ddupe, which will back up all the files on the local Linux machine to our Ddupe storage. It's a good example to see a significant number of files backed up and see how our deduplication engine works. The next step is the job settings overview. From here, we can make changes to any of the settings for the job, including the client, the storage it'll be backed up to, the level we'll back up, or even when we'll run it, whether it's now or at a later time. If the job has been run in the past, we'll have a historical estimate of its size. Also note that the default level for this job is listed as incremental. We'll see how that behaves in a moment. For this scenario, we'll leave everything at the defaults and start the job. This job may take some time to run, so we'll accelerate the process a bit for this video. After the job starts, BWeb refreshes and takes you to the job status window. You can see in the job report that because we haven't run a full backup in the past, our incremental job was automatically upgraded to a full. In this pane, you can see the file that's currently being backed up, how many files have already been backed up, the backup job speed, and the raw job log below that. When the job completes, BWeb will show the completed job log. It includes all the information for the job, including the volumes to which the backup data was written, the speed, the total duration, compression and deduplication ratios, and things like that. Most importantly, you should see the termination at the bottom of Backup OK. After reviewing the job log, we can return to the top of the page and click Bacula Enterprise to return to the main page. And here we'll see that we now have some statistics in our statistics window and a job history in the last jobs run. Clicking on the job in the last jobs pane will take you back to the job log. That concludes Trial Scenario 1, running a backup with BWeb. Please join us with the next video as we explore more of the common usage scenarios for Bacula Enterprise Edition.